Today I did something that should be impossible. Um, and I say I did it, but really it was my chem group that I'm in. Um, and, and I'm taking chemistry one right now, which is an entry level chemistry class. And you would think that if you're taking an entry level chemistry class, that any result that you might even possibly be able to get is something that the teacher wanted you to get. A, a result, whether, whether correct or incorrect, is something that is actually possible to happen. That's not how, what happened today. So uh, let me explain briefly what the experiment is so you can understand how crazy this is. I'm, we're not doing anything crazy. We're not like splitting the atom in half here. We're shining a, like basically a flashlight at a test tube with water in it. And we're seeing how much light gets absorbed by the water. And then we're gonna add little bits of food dye into the water and see if that changes how much light gets absorbed by the water. You would think that when you get more food dye in the water, it, the uh, light will get blocked because the food dye blocks the light from getting through to the detector. That is the anticipated result. And um, my lab mates and I are, are making up solutions of all the different kinds of uh, like concentrations of food dye and water. And then we go up to the machine at the end of class. Uh, it's a two hour lab. So we spent like an hour and a half getting all this stuff prepared. Then we put it into the machine and we asked the lab TA to come over and help us work it. Um, and we shine the light through the thing. And guess what? We're getting negative values, um, which, which might sound like, oh, okay, that's fine. Actually, it's not because negative values in this context means that the water that we're shining the light through is emitting more light. That shouldn't be possible. <laughs> and, and so we're talking to the TA who's like running the lab and we're like, this is insane. Why is the, why is the water emitting more light? And uh, the TA said something that I will never forget. Um, she said, yeah, I think the, uh, I think the little, like, um, the food dye you put in there, it's actually filled with tiny little flashlights. What does that mean? Obviously she's joking, but like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? And so now I have to go home and write a lab report for this lab where the TA told us that the food dye has tiny little flashlights in it, which is obviously not correct. It's just normal food dye. It's not generating light out of thin air. And the anticipated result is that it blocks the light. And so I don't know if the machine was not calibrated right or if like we somehow mixed, uh, messed up mixing food dye and water, which should be impossible. Um, but no matter what the, uh, the result seems to be with this chem lab, it always seems to be an absolute nightmare for no apparent reason. Like this is literally the, one of the craziest classes I've taken and uh, it's an entry level chemistry class. It should not be this hard, but uh, what can you do, I guess? Um, the good news is all of my lab partners are, uh, are, are working pretty well. Today, we had what I, would th what I thought was one of the most successful labs that we've done all term. We've been, we've been struggling to like work together as a team and like have everyone show up and, uh, and, and like split the work evenly. But today everyone showed up and we, we split up the work and we, we actually did it pretty good. Cause I mean, it was pretty simple. We were just putting food, food dye in water, but, uh, for some reason, I guess the machine wasn't calibrated right or something. And now all of our data is, is fully messed up and the entire lab block is already over. There's no like open lab time. So we can't even go in like after class and, and fix the data. So now we're just gonna have to write up a lab report that is obviously wrong and submit it and lose a bunch of points. Um, so that sucks. The good news is that the, uh, the total like percentage of my grade that is the lab portion is very small. So I actually, uh, I just need to do okay in the labs in order to pass the class. And uh, obviously I wanna get the best grade I can. So I'm gonna try my best, but uh, it's not the end of the world. I would just, I would really prefer if uh, these labs didn't keep being so insane. So I've got another one coming up on Friday. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, and uh, I'm gonna have to split up this work for this lab as well. It, it, it's all going crazy. Um, and on top of all this all this work I've gotta do, I, I'm, I'm also sick and the hot water in my apartment is still not fixed. It's still not fixed. They fixed it yesterday for the evening. And then I woke up this morning and the hot water was broken and I couldn't take a hot shower. Isn't that crazy? This has been like four days in a row. So uh, my roommates and I, outraged, uh, decided to write an email to the, uh, to the people who are uh, managing our apartment. Cause we're like, hey, listen, why is the hot water not working in our apartment? Uh, you haven't notified us about anything. Um, and we're kind of like losing our minds out here. We wanna know when this is gonna be fixed or back to normal. Cause we're obviously paying a lot of money to be in these apartments and we're not getting hot water. Uh, 
So uh, had to had to write that, uh, and I figured I'd include that in the video because that's another thing that's on my mind today. It's also weirdly snowing a little bit, uh, even though it's so sunny out. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's basically it for me today. I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Tate Harris. This has been The Daily Report, and I will see you tomorrow.